Investors will have plenty to chew on this week, including earnings news from most of the big Canadian banks and the latest economic growth data for Canada. But the week could start out on a cautious tone as traders wonder if U.S. politicians can come up with an alternative to the sequestration. That's the name for an automatic series of across-the-board spending cuts set to take effect March the 1st, which would cut into already weak American economic growth. And the Eurozone debt crisis could be back in focus depending on the outcome of an Italian election Sunday and Monday that is too close to call. The Toronto market was a little changed last week after investor sentiment took a hit from another indication that the Federal Reserve is considering ending its current economic stimulus program involving bond purchases. Minutes from the Fed's latest policy meeting showed that some policymakers were worried that the bank's $85 billion in monthly bond purchases could eventually unsettle financial markets or cause the central bank to take losses. The best bit of news this week could come from the big banks. Traders expect the results to be lower than the previous quarter and a reflection of a slowing housing sector, but they also expect dividend increases from Bank of Montreal, Royal Bank, TD Bank and CIBC, as well as Scotiabank, which reports next week. On the economic front, Stats Canada is expected to report on Friday The Canadian gross domestic product grew by 0.7% in the fourth quarter, but it looks like growth started to flatten out at the end of the year as the economy likely contracted by 0.1% in December. From the Canadian Press, I'm Malcolm Orson.